So, this is a video how to shape an agave surfboard from an agave blank from crow blanks and yeah, this is made in a uh, workshop situation in a course and first we write down all the numbers of the rocker to get the right rocker that we want on a board that we designed before in shape 3d so we start to get the right rocker in to write nose rocker and tail rocker check it out and yeah in making it smooth and on the right position um, you can use a electric planer pretty well on agave blanks it's they can be cut really well even better as foam because it's it's wood and the planer is made for wood so it's pretty easy the next thing is we uh, draw the right thickness on on the blank so we get right now the perfect rocker line and the next step is gonna be like just shaping until the right thickness on this blank. I am also working the most time with a vacuum cleaner because uh, you will have almost no dust in the workshop. And here you can see we draw the, the stringer line on because this agave blank doesn't need a stringer it's stiff enough hard enough and we measure between the two blue lines of the middle pole of the blank of the middle agave pole and yeah next thing from there on we draw the the outline of the fish so there's gonna be a fish five ten fish we draw the outline with the templates on and we use a nice pencil for that that you can see the line pretty well and after that we we measure the tail and draw the fish tail on the blank always starting with a drawing the outline um, and you have different opportunities how to cut it. Here we tried some different tools. This is the Chinese handsaw, Japanese handsaw, and um, it's we use a lot guys for cutting foam. Um, that's that works, but not so easy. Mm. To cut it with the circle saw, you need to cut one one raw cut around before so the best for us is uh, the stick saw so the stick saw works the best makes the cleanest cut um, it doesn't turn or um, get out of the line because the wood is so soft so you can really cut easy through the wood um, we would recommend to to use a a wider blade or having a clean straight cut along the outline. Here we're cutting the fish tail and as you can see it's fully straight and ready to start shaping. So all the glue lines or um, parts where you cannot use an electric planer we have a, a health planer set which is really nice and yeah on the agave blank it's, it's pretty nice to to have some different hand planers for um, yeah finishing some edges or something like this so here we start with the bottom, with the channel and the 
single to double concave in this fish and after you shape with the planer as much as you can because the, cana the planer is cutting straight through the wood um, you sand in best case with a hard sanding pad to get a nice and clean surface uh, the meerkat um, dedos is really a nicest option for having no dust while shaping and sanding when you can see we went over after the sanding you can went over the glue lines um, with the hand planer to smooth them down again and yeah in the last step on your last steps we go over to the rails and for shaping the nose part um, or the top rocker line you need to angle the, the planer a bit normally you don't have to here on agave you can cut straight but uh, in terms of the the nose rocker you need to angle it angle them as well as on foam and here we go going over with the with the sanding machine again with the hard pad so you don't need um, some things inside in terms of different densities and stuff and as you can see I didn't even didn't I don't need a, like a mask or something like that. It absor absorbed the dust so well uh, in this machine. It's super nice. Just for the rails in the last parts, um, with a with a sanding paper, the net, the upper net. I using um, a mask again. As you can see in one of the last steps. Uh, are the glue lines again I go over with the hand planer above all glue lines of double poles and yeah make them flat and smooth again and straight so this is really nice tip for yeah avoiding any kind of glue lines popping out and yeah you can finish the rail with this sanding block pretty nice I would always suggest the Mirka Abrenet net paper because this is just just the best it has a cutting function and as you can see you can finish this one really well <laughs> 